Ever since the word got out, convenience store owner Muhammad Sahail has been getting calls from all over the country. Complete strangers. Oh, thank you. I'm calling from Chicago. The world needs more nice people like you, so good job. Which is fitting, considering what Sahail did for a complete stranger. The hood-wearing, bat-wielding, would-be robber on this surveillance tape. What did he say to you? The guy come over here and uh, take the baseball bat and say, give me money, give me money. So Hale reached under the counter for a 9 millimeter rifle. Were you scared? Not really. You know why? Because he have a baseball bat. He have a baseball bat. He's scared with me. You had a gun. I have a gun, of course. The gun was not loaded, but the robber didn't know that. So he did what anyone would do when you bring a bat to a gunfight. He began begging. We have no money, I have no food, I have no job. Did he start crying in front of you? Starting crying. He's a grow big man and he's starting crying. I have no money, anything. And I, then after that, I feel bad for the person. So Hale felt so bad for him, he did something that stunned everyone. He gave this man a gift, $40 and a loaf of bread, as long as that man promised to never rob again. He said, oh, thank you very much. You are very nice. You are very gentle. You are very kind. Thank you very much. I want to be a Muslim just like you. I said, what? Because this story wasn't unusual enough already, so Hale then began to recite a Muslim prayer with his would-be attacker before going to get him some milk. When he returned, the man was gone. He did take the bat. Left behind, the convenience store owner who's made headlines by fighting crime with compassion. Jeff Glor, CBS News, Long Island, New York.